Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. As usually on Thursday, I show you the weekly Forzaton, the championships where I use the cars for and also the stunts. So let's have a look at the photo challenge. What do you need? You need to sit in a cult car, take a picture and you are done. Then the weekly Forzaton challenge. Let's have a look at the shop. Here you have the Q1. That's a car I don't really drive, so can't say much about it. Then we have the Countryman. That's actually a good car. Um, and we also have an outfit and a helmet. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm still a little bit sick from Corona. Now let's have a look at the weekly challenge. We need to own and drive a retro supercar. We have to win three road racing series, three stars on a Roman mile speed trap. I made a video about that and also drive 15 miles or 24 kilometers. So let's have a look. I am in my Porsche with a hybrid engine. And here I'll show you on the map. It's still the same always this one on this track um, I have a blueprint so let's have a look you basically drive two seconds and you have it so easy for the zone for all cars this is the code just search and type in the code and then do this three times then the speed trap I'll put my filter on Now, like I said, I made a video for three cars that you can use. I'll show you with the Porsche because I really like it. Let's hope there's no traffic. Now I drive in simulation with everything off, ABS off. So I need to be a little bit careful. I just go off throttle a little bit here. And then of course you have traffic like usually. But the car should be fast enough to actually still get it. Well, I didn't really get it, but I did do it with, well, you can see it in the video. I did it like that. But traffic always ruins stuff. And then you just drive 15 miles or 24 kilometers. Then let's go to the trial. You can already guess what that is. That's well <coughs> expensive cars. Basically, they are all 10 million. So let's have a look what you need. The vintage racers. Um, normally you should have at least one from the barn find or from buying one of the uh, castles. So let's have a look. This is a castle one, um, but they're all 10 million. Uh, this is a car that we won. So what car can you take? I always take the Bugatti. It's, it's fast, it's grippy, it handles very well. So this is my preference. The Napier is also a good car. Mercedes also. Basically it comes down to have a tuned car. I did the trial with only two people. Uh, well, basically me and another guy had a tuned car and luckily all others just left because they were driving a real-wheel drive and i we won actually the trial now what can we win from that we actually win the napier from that then the showcase that's with the hoovercraft that's if you just drive decent you will win the hoovercraft will always break at the finish then here we have spring games um that is i think it was off-road buggies so let's have a look yeah off-road buggies well let's have a look at that well it is the aerial nomad that you have to take for this but let's have a look well as you can see this one is tuned for a class but it is a uh, playground so um uh, this one is basically the fastest this is also not a bad one but it's really big uh this one is pretty tiny i uh, wouldn't recommend this one so this one you can i don't know maybe you can tune it very good that is fast um it's 
tiny so that's always good but i will take the aerial nomad and what can we win from that we actually win this one then let's go to the championships here we need a s1 900 lamborghini so let's have a look i'm going to s1 then i'm going to the manufacturer and then i go to lambo there you go now as you can see um the lamborghini hurricane performante is actually the best lamborghini for this so if you have it i would definitely recommend it um this one is also a good car in s1 and uh, where is the other car i'll put s1 off there was another lambo that is good but i don't really see it but i do would recommend this one or the lp 700 now what do we win from that we actually win the hurricane p this one then the next championship we need a 800 gt cars so let's have a look at our gt cars the gt cars there you go so also here you have a lot of choices uh well a lot is uh said a much now my, i always do the championships with a few cars that i have now this one has my preference um it's fast acceleration good handling it, the car actually has everything for the championship this one is a car well it has a high rpm so it's basically good for manual drive uh, you can drive it in automatic but it will be slower than manual because you can go high in uh, rpm I also tried this one, uh, I, I'm not really a fan of it, but I did won the championship and this one is also a good car. But basically, this is my preference. Now, what we win? We win the Ferrari F12 TDF. Then, here, the nice Mercedes picture. We need B700 Retro Saloon. So, B700 Retro Saloon. There you go. Well, you have a lot of choices here. Um, of course, this one has a serious engine that you can use, um, but you need to handle the car. This one is also a car that you can use. Uh, this one doesn't steer really much. And the RS2 is also a very good car, but I took this car and I took off and I never seen the Dravitas again. So I basically didn't test the other cars, but I know the cars because I'm playing this game for more than two years. Um, I would really recommend this car. Um, it's really good, it's fast. Um, and I literally didn't see any Dravitas anymore. Now, what do we win? We win the Mercedes Hammer. I'll show you that on the end of the video. Then let's go to the stunts. Now there are some stunts that are probably will fail. Um, here you have aerodrome. We need a certain speed. Normally you can start from here. But if your car is fast enough, like the muzzler, you don't need to start that far. I think you can actually do it in this car also. I I always take the Mosler or Ferrari, uh, but I'm actually gonna test this. Well, this car also seems very fast to do it. Then, here, this is a little bit of an annoying one. Um, where do we start? You can do both sides, but one side is not the most easiest one. Um, wait, this is the wrong side. I recommend you to start from this side.
it's downhill but you need to be able to break very good in the corners uh where is my hooligan oh there it is i take the ford rs 200 of course there are other cars that you can use um just make sure it's a fast s2 car now this car is very sensitive on simulation so if you have problems handling the car uh like i have just put steering on normal put every help on uh, you will have less problems to handle the car as you see the car is extremely powered so this side is a side you can take but you can also go this side If I remember correct, I was way faster uh, going this side, although it's uphill. Yeah, there you go. So for some reason uphill went faster for me, don't ask me why. It's probably because of the bends. Then here, the well, let's say the most annoying danger sign there is. So what I do is I drive up here and I go a little bit sideways to the flag. I hope it's gonna work. Because mostly I fail in my videos. You have arrived at your destination. That should be enough. I can't see how much you need, but uh, that should be enough. Um, well, that's it. Let's have a look at a complete new car. And that's the Mercedes. Oh wait, this is the AMG. Oh, they don't put it in AMG. That's interesting. Here you have him, the Mercedes AMG Hammer Coupe. Oh, it's a rear wheel drive I see and it is class A class. So that's gonna be interesting to see what the car can do. Let's have a look inside. Yeah, that's the wooden interior. There you go. That's it. I hope the car choices made you win all the championships. Also the Forza Ton. And I'll see you later tonight on my Twitch stream. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.